I am from Costa Rica. This is a small country in Latin America, and I was raised in the foothills of the Barba Volcano. And what this means is that I was a farmer. My, my parents were farmers. My father had a few parcels of coffee, coffee plantations. And so all the music that I grew up listening to with my parents were the music that they listened to. They listened to a lot of folk music from the country. They listened to a lot of music from other countries in Latin America. And that was really the majority of what, they, what I heard when I was a child. But then something really interesting happened when I was uh, eight and a half years old. Uh, there was a, a famous movie that came out from Mexico with a child who was a mariachi singer and his name was Pedrito Fernandez. If you look him up on YouTube, you'll find his music. And um, the song was so catchy. I really wasn't thinking about anything. It was just the song was so catchy. I started singing along and suddenly I can sing it just as good as he did. People notice this. Uh, especially one of my neighbors who brought me an LP of an, yet another singer from another era. His name was Joselito from Spain. And I immediately I heard this music. I was in love with it. I just started imitating him as well. So I was singing Joselito's music. So now I had the influence of Latin America and the influence of Spain. Uh, this is an amalgamation. And um, I really loved it. And then, uh, but I was never really thinking of this as something that I would do for the rest of my life. Uh, that happened later when um, when the, the teachers at my elementary school which was by the way a rural school we really didn't have much it was just a small school and we didn't have arts we didn't have music we didn't have anything uh, except for the regular classes and um, they they felt that there was an artistic uh, need they could not fulfill for me so they um, came up with this idea that I should enroll in the Costa Rican Conservatorio de Castella, which is a conservatory for the arts. And when I went there, um, I got accepted. I did the, you know, all the, the tests that I had to do to get in. And, and um, when I got in and I was accepted, the first thing I noticed is that all the children are carrying clarinets and cellos and basses. And, and they are painting on canvases and they are writing poetry and they are in plays and they're doing all these things and I'm like I'm in heaven this is play this place was made for me uh, three months into uh, into school I uh, there was a, an opera that they were putting up and it was Cavalleria Rusticana by my Pietro Mascagni in Italian and uh, I never had heard an opera before and one of the teachers who was the vo one of the voice teachers she did the solo and then there was this choir and, uh, and the orchestra and of course they have faculty playing in the orchestra and faculty singing as well and uh, but when I heard this you know literally I got goosebumps from from this experience and I realized in that very moment that if I didn't do this for the rest of my life I would be a very sad person and so I started pursuing all the music classes Furiously. I even asked for Italian lessons because I felt that I needed to learn Italian in order to become an opera singer, which is partially true. But the main thing is I, I really like I, I, I started taking guitar lessons, piano lessons, composition lessons. I was in every choir that they had. I was in the Latin American ensemble playing double bass and I even learned to play accordion and a couple of instruments. And then um, as I was getting closer to, to the senior year in high school, uh, teachers would, would ask me if I would, you know, watch over a, a classroom of, of young students, uh, the little ones, and I started teaching them as well. And so it got noticed that I also could teach. So the year after I graduated from high school, and this is of course only in Costa Rica because this wouldn't happen in another, another country, they hired me to sing, uh, actually to, to teach the young children. And I taught there for four years before I came to the United States. So both um, passions for music and the arts and um, teaching were born right there. It was, it was my activity. So I became musical, music, music is my life. Music saved my life in so many ways. Uh, my gratitude to music is, um, is boundless. And um, my, uh, my passion for wanting it, you know, wanting to share with others is also boundless, and, um, and here I am. This is this is a little bit of the of that story of growing up in in Latin America and and bringing it here.